It's scooby doop da beep boop a lab doo Architect reacts to big brain construction workers Part 3, yeah! What's good, Poopoo Doopo Squad? Welcome to the third iteration of Architect Reacts to Big Brain Construction Workers. So in this video, not only are we reacting to Big Brain Construction Workers, but we are also going to react to Big Brain Construction Equipment and Big Brain Construction Tools that will instantly transform you from a small PP construction worker to a giant brain construction man. But before we start watching the video, I would just like to inform you guys that this video is a you buy, you lose challenge video. Meaning that if you guys or I was tempted to buy any of these products from these videos that we are watching, means that we get minus one poopoo doopoo -poo points. And if at the end of this video we have negative five poopoo doopoo -poo points, well, I have some bad news for you because you just lost. And you know what that means? You just lost the challenge. There's not really that much at stake here. Anyways, let us jump into the video. Okay, so he's spraying some sort of silicon or expanding foam. Oh no, it's glue. Some sort of high-tech adhesive. What? That's some next level adhesive right there, man. That must be some sort of camera magic. Either that or this guy's wearing an inflatable jacket full of helium and it's making him lighter. This product is probably fake. Will not buy. Whew, we passed the first item, my dudes. Next item. I'm not sure what that product was. So if that was some magic super fast vanishing water, I would totally buy it. But I'm pretty sure that was just some permeable asphalt road lining. So far so good, we still have our scores intact. Okay, so he throws a tomato and steps. Woo! That's some tough shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the chancla throw got me man so this guy must be an asian mother because he threw that chancla with such force and such accuracy y'all people with the asian moms and latina moms know what i'm talking about with the chancla throwing anyways that's some super strong boots i'm almost tempted to buy it man if only they came in a better color aside from that baby poo poo color i probably would have bought anyways next brother okay so we have some super sticky tape Okay, I'm pretty sure this is just flex tape. Yep, this is just flex tape. Next. We have some awesome looking Lego-like bricks. Ooh. Ooh, I need to buy it. I, I gotta buy it. Add to cart. Ooh, no, I got minus one points, man. But I'm so tempted to buy this. It looks so awesome. It's like some sort of real-life Legos. And there's like a bunch of things I could do with this. I could put plants inside those whole things. Or I could like display the bricks behind me slap some supreme branding on it and call it a hype beast art piece or something like that we now have negative one poo poo doo poo points oh no <laughs> i'm guessing they're selling this tie wire tying tool but this is pretty common in the construction industry so yeah i'm gonna have to pass for this item but he has some really good tie wire tying techniques so tying tie wires is like one of the most satisfying things you guys could do at the construction site so if you guys are ever at the construction site and you guys happen to have the chance to tie a tie wire, go and do it. It's gonna change your life. Next item. Ooh, damn, son. Slices through those conduits like butter. I definitely need to buy one of these oscillating cutter tools. So, unfortunately for me, I'm gonna have to add to cart. I felt that minus one poopoo -poo doopoo -poo point right here. But we still got three more poopoo -poo doopoo -poo lives. So I guess we're going to continue this video. Ooh, the absolute mad lad trying to repair a pipe that has water flowing through it. Damn man, that's some next level compression fittings right there. Super tempted to buy, but I'm going to pass. Bro, it's actually pretty genius. And it's going to trace out the holes. Oh man, I gotta copy this. Damn man, this, that's actually genius. I gotta copy this technique and show it to my workers so that they would think that I'm a big brain guy. Well, in reality, I just saw a video on Facebook about it. But you know, they won't know unless you guys tell them. So you know, just keep this video between us. You know, you could also show this to your workers and pretend that you guys invented this technique. Big brain! What? Oh, oh, I get it. 
For a second there, I thought this was a top-down camera and my dude was like lying on the floor while installing wood parquet and stuff. Then I just realized that he was installing wood veneers onto a wall. So yeah, that makes sense. Camera angle just bamboozled me, man. So I guess in this video, they want us to buy the pneumatic nail gun, but too bad for them, for I am a man of steel resolve and maximum constitution. I don't know what any of those words meant. Oh, dude, that is actually super useful. No, Leon, you must resist, but I got to buy it. Super useful. Going to make installing tiles so much easier, man. I got to. I got to. Oh, prevent yourself from. Oh, too late. It's been added to cart. No. My dudes I already have negative three poo poo dupo points. It is not looking too good. Two more. And I have lost this challenge completely. But I think this tool is worth it. Because this tool is going to definitely make some of my construction workers big brain, super fast construction workers. And I think one poopoo dupo point is worth it. Okay, so he has some sort of leveling laser. Ooh, bro, that's actually super useful. Dang, man. Oh. Dude, this video is so tempting. He has so much tools. Bro. Oh, no. I, I absolutely need that. Would you guys, like, buy this for me and, you know, take the negative poo 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 point for me and, you know, send this to my house? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Man, and those style spacers. Bro, I bet this guy could like install a whole wall of tiles in under three hours. Is my dude wearing a Gucci hat? Damn, this guy's wearing a Gucci hat. He's actually richer than me. All I could afford are these Pokemon hats and my dude is out there with a Gucci hat just wearing it in the construction site. Okay, let us continue playing the video. Okay, so he's cutting some grooves into tiles. He's attaching wires onto them. Whoa, that's actually genius. No wonder this guy has a Gucci hat. He's like the most big brain worker that I've ever seen in my entire life. And for that, I will award him with 9 out of 3 poopoo doopoo points. Which you could like cash in any poopoo doopoo shop and instantly buy yourself 3 Gucci hats. So congratulations my dude, you have just earned Three more Gucci hats to add to your Gucci hat collection. Nice job. Okay, so my dude has some sort of bread knife looking thing and he uses that to comb the dry pack cement. So what combing the dry pack cement mixture does is it makes sure that once you lay the tile on top of that cement, there are gaps for the dry pack cement to displace to. So basically what that means is it makes it easier for my dude right here to level the tile once he places it on top of the dry pack cement. So if you guys notice it, once he places the tile on top of the dry pack cement, he's going to tap the tile with the rubber mallet and what that does is it displaces the dry pack cement underneath the tile. And if he doesn't comb the dry pack cement mixture, basically there's nowhere for the dry pack sand cement mixture to displace onto. And you know, he's going to have a hard time leveling the tile. And if you guys look closer right there, what our guy was doing, he was feeling the edges of the tiles if one tile was higher than the other. So yeah, this dude is definitely very skilled and very much big brain oh i'm afraid i'm gonna have to award him more pp points for that move right there man okay so what's my dude doing now okay so it looks like he's going to use a scoring tool which scores the tiles to cut it Ooh, dude that snap in half so this might look easy but it's actually very hard to do you need to have a ton of confidence and a ton of arm strength, both of which I do not have, unfortunately, so I would not be able to do that. What's that, man? The first time I've ever seen one of those wall tile spacers. So tempted to buy, but I must resist for I only have two more poopoo dupo points. I must not lose this challenge. Okay. Stay strong, Leon. Stay strong. Okay. Ooh, damn man, oh no, I need one of those things. 
like one of those vibrating rubber mallet things. Dude, that's gonna be super useful. But unfortunately, we only have two more lives left. So I think I'm gonna have to abstain just in case, you know, something more awesome comes along the way. Next video. Okay, so that was a laser range meter. I thought it was some sort of construction thermometer. I don't know why you would use a construction thermometer. Maybe to take the temperature of your house if it's having a fever or stuff like that. Do not need that. Next. Okay, some guy. Then another guy comes in. That's some next level alpha male type of stuff happening right there. This guy just comes in, shows the other guy how it's done, man. With this jigsaw router and stuff. No, but I think the video is sped up to make it look like doing it real fast. But damn, he actually did a real great job there. Okay, next. Is this another type of Asian flex tape? Yeah, I think it is, man. Also, I love the face that that guy was doing. It's just maximum effort. I just love people who give out their maximum effort, you know? Dude, employee of the month. Dude, this tiny drill's a thing. Must resist. Do not buy. Not buy, Lian. You do not need it. Okay, we're safe guys. I think I'm not gonna buy. Add to cart. I only have one poo poo doo poo life left. And I guess that is the last of our videos. So I guess it is safe to say that I have just survived this challenge with barely one poo poo doo poo life left. So how many poo poo doo poo lives do you guys have left? Leave it down in the comments below. Also, if you guys like this sort of video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more weird videos like this. From me, your boy Lian. I will see you, my dudes, on my next video. Fly in peace.